Step number three, uh, we will do what we call V-cuts all the way around the face and in the back here. And we will also remove just a little bit of wood on both sides just because it will be uh, more comfortable for you to hold the carving. So V-cuts are fairly simple and probably one of the most popular after the stop cut that we'll do later. Um, so let's say that the line on this piece is here, is there, okay? What you want to do with your knife is come in an angle, not straight, in an angle, and in a V-cut the line is always in the middle, okay? So you go in, and then when your knife reach where the middle line is, you stop, remove your knife, and then you come from the other side, and then you go in and you will hear a little click and from here you can remove the wood if there's still wood you just go from the other side and remove it and then it makes this V I will accentuate it even more for you to see okay you can see this V cut here so that's what we'll do all the way around the face so I always start with uh, the shoulder, so on both these sides here, I go in a little bit, don't push too hard because you will pop that wood here. So I go there and then I come back and then I cut a little V here. You see this little tip going out, that will serve as a stop cut for the next step. And then same thing here. go so we have two V cuts good and then from there I do one here in the front like so so then we have this line here and this line here so if you can it's what I do usually I go for it in one motion like so in an angle and then I go from the other side back in and push in with my thumb here okay and then I remove the wood there we go so we have the v-cuts on here so I do the same thing on the other side Remember that the line is in the middle. Big click, that's what we want to hear. Okay. Then from the back here, we cut the line we had before, so we can add it back if you need it. Like here. And then we go in at an angle from one side and from the other. And then we'll do the same thing here, join the line. Okay. And on this side. Like so. And then the last thing, like I said, we'll just remove a little, little bit, super tiny just to remove the corner like so all right so now it's way better to hold it good so that was step number three let's get to step number four now step number four uh, as you can see compared to the guy that we have we will basically remove the wood from the side of the face as simple as that and we will do one thing that I like to do is just one little swipe here that you can see in the front of the face here all right let's keep it simple so like I said before these little cut that we've done on the side serve as a stop cut meaning that when we push here the knife will stop at the shoulder here obviously if you don't put 
infinite amount of strength. Uh, you never have to put that much strength. If you have to put too much strength, it's because your knife is not sharp enough and you should sharpen your knife. So anyway, we'll uh, go in here, okay? Push with your thumb and then all the way to here. Then we cut, okay? And we basically want to go all the way to where we are here. So all of that wood there needs to be removed on both sides. So you can do little by little. And then the bigger you go, the bigger the shoulder is, the more wood you can remove because the wood will absorb the cut. So we basically want to flatten the thing so it's sort of in a line here. See there's a little edge but that is okay. And we do the same thing on the other side. see it's uh, pretty flat and from here uh, from the bottom here I do one swipe swoop cut all the way to the top like so and that was step number four as easy as that let's get to step number five with step number five, we start working on the chest, around the arm, and then under the sword. So the, our little guy will start taking shape. So from here, um, what we will do is stop cuts, and then we'll cut through them. So to do a stop cut, you have multiple ways, but for this specific cut, you will take your knife like this, instead of holding it like that. You will put your piece of wood on the table. And then uh, with your knife, you will go with the tip of your knife, where the line is. And then you will go along it. Okay? Carve it in. So you press your knife in. And then you go. Like so. So we have the cut. And then you go along the sword. In the same way. Okay. Then here at the bottom of the sword in the hand, we do the same thing. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Here. Okay. And rotate a bit. Follow the line. And follow the line. Here. Okay. So that's the stop cut in the front. So depending if you're right-handed or left-handed, one side here will be easier than the other, depending on how comfortable you are by cutting towards yourself. So since I'm right-handed, I will start with this side here because of the knife, it's, I can go in that direction. Here I can't because obviously the blade is in the way, right? And then from here, we'll have to go heat like this instead. So let's start with what I'm more comfortable with. So we will uh, start the cut where the stop cut starts. And it's really important to, uh, it, it gets some time to get used to it, but you don't want the tip of your knife to go inwards the arm. If you don't, if you can't cut straight, it's better if you go outside than inside, okay? And then to add on top uh, of this, uh, I will do a rotating motion while cutting so I end up in the same direction as the sword. So you can start slowly, you dip in, push with your thumb, then you go along and I rotate and end like this. And then I can remove the wood. It was a really, really, really small cut. 
but that's better than removing too much wood. So then I go again, and then I remove the wood. Okay, I think I will do that like three times probably. That should be deep enough. There we go. So we have a clean cut inside, like so. Okay. So then from the other side, you will have to change your grip. Like I said, we can't cut like this. It doesn't work. <laughs> so we will rotate the knife and we will cut toward yourself. Thing is that you don't want to put, you, you don't want to go like this and then put strength and then lose, right? Then the motion that is important here is these fingers are doing the motion. So if you lose control, the knife can't go farther than this, okay? And then I'm personally not comfortable of putting my knife to hold the knife, to knife, my knife, sorry, the finger, my thumb to hold the knife, so I just put it lower. So if I lose control, I will just go here and I will not cut myself. So same thing here, we will go from the tip here, trying to not get the tip of the knife inside the arm, and then we'll do a rotating motion to get to the sword, okay? Like so. And then we'll do it again. And then I will just look. Yeah, three times on this side will be the charm too. Okay. Now it should be fairly symmetrical and have the same depth on each side. Okay. And then from here we will remove a little bit of wood on both sides of the sword. Um, you can, it's just because it's, since it's like the edge here, it's a bit harder to hold and then push with your thumb, but you can do that, like so. What I usually love to do now is just to go that way and kind of pull with my thumb, but not too hard, because if I lose control I could, you know, go inside my hand. So I just go slowly, remove a little chip at a time. Okay. Like so. So by doing so, you might end up having this little curve that we see here. So what I do then is I just chip away a little bit. Then I come back in again and I flatten everything. So that's the thing with flat plane, right? We want to have really clean straight cuts. It's not about chip carving. So you see it's about like two or three mil here. That's enough for now. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we basically want to have, even if it's under the carving, we want to have pretty much the same depth on each side. And then when the wood doesn't want to go, you can just go back in and continue the stop cut. Uh, yeah, maybe one more. Little by little, no stress, no rush, Relax. carving is relaxing. So it looks pretty much the same, so I'm pretty content with that. So yeah, that is uh, step number five, pretty much done and done. Let's get to step number six.